Hello there and welcome to Linux Studio. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can view content of a file in a Linux distribution environment. So the first one is very simple. So here is a file. So if I simply double click on it, it will open up in a text editor. So this one is get it. So every Linux distribution comes with a text editor and uh, this is Ubuntu and in Ubuntu we have get it. So this is here, you can see the content of the file very easily. Now let's get into the CLI and uh, see how we can use CLI to view the content of a file. So I'm going to open up the terminal. So here is the terminal. I'm going to hit the ls command here. You can see this is the file name is file.txt. I'm going to clear the terminal using control L and the very first command that we have is cat. So this is for seeing the content of a file. So just type cat and the file name and this will output all the content of the file here. If you want to have a number before the content, then you can simply type uh, like I can hit the arrow key, the up arrow key and add a parameter of C. Okay, not C, it's a parameter of N and I can hit enter and this will output all the content, but it will also add a number before the line. So it contains around 128 entries in this txt file. Similarly, we can use a command called head. So I'm going to click the terminal again, control L and I'm going to call it head and the file name that is file.txt. So what head does basically it's outputs only the first 10 entries that are in the file. So as you can see in this file, the first 10 entries are these. So that is why it has outputted these 10 entries. And you can also use the verbose option here. So this will also output the file name. So it's saying this is the file and these are the entries. And you can also specify how many entries you want. So by default it's 10, but if you want to have like a I can type dash n and I can specify like I only want the first five entries. So this will output only the first five entries. So you can do that with the head. The next is tail. So head is for the upper part of the file and tail is for the lower part of the file. So I'm going to clear the terminal and I'm going to type tail here. So this is tail and the file name that is file.txt. So the last 10 entries are these and I can also specify the parameter of uh, n and I can say like I only want the last two entries so this will output only the last two entries so head and tail next we have is nl so this is nl I'm going to type the file name that is file.txt I will hit enter so what nl does basically it outputs all the content of the file and also at the line number so you can see the line number is added by default and this is similar to the cat command. So in the cat command, what we did basically, we typed cat and then the file name basically that was, and we specified the parameter of n and it outputted all the content with the line number before it. So it's similar to that. The last in this guide is the less. So I'm going to type less here and I'm going to specify the file name and I'm going to hit enter. So I made a mistake, I'm going to again and here is the less command basically. So this is saying like uh, the, the file name is this and this is the content. So these are the starting lines basically and I can use the arrow keys to go up and down between the file basically. This outputs all the content but you can also navigate through the content very easily. If you want to quit from this command you can type Q here and this will exit and if you want to know more about less command then you can type less hyphen hyphen help and this will give you a lot of options here so you can use these all options with this command and this is pretty advanced command and you can go through these all options here so that was it on how you can view the content of a file using a graphical way and the cli way as well i hope you find this video helpful and if you did then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux